Good morning. How did that feel? Right? Amazing, right? I already felt the energy shift, and it's really important that we take time to bring ourselves present so that we can take full advantage of what's happening to us right now. I am so happy to see all of you here today, and I know it wasn't easy for you to get here, right? It's Saturday morning. <laughs> it's 9 o'clock. There's lots of things that you have been in the middle of trying to get through in your work, in your work day. Certainly, there's many responsibilities on the weekend, so thank you for being here. We're very happy to host you today. Now, just a quick uh, snapshot of who's in the room. How many of you are from out of town? Oh my goodness. In this room here in Baker Hood, there is about 70% of the people here that are from out of town. Thank you and welcome. How many of you were brought here by a friend? About 40%, fantastic. That's a good friend who brought you here today. How many of you were here at Women in Cloud last year? Fantastic. So for those with their hands up, is this amazing what this has turned into? Right? So again, welcome. We have an amazing program ahead. My name is Karen Fazio, and I'm a co-founder of Women in Cloud. And as a co-founder, I'm often asked the question, where did this whole idea come from? Like, how did this thing start? And like most great ideas, it started over a cup of coffee in a little indie coffee shop in Redmond. And what was different about this, though, because a lot of times we have coffee, we get to introduce ourselves to one another, um, you know, casual networking. But this conversation was different because it was set with intent. And the intent was for us to get together and take action around how we can support women in technology, particularly entrepreneurs who need access to resources so they can achieve their ambitions. From that coffee conversation back in October 2017, we hosted our very first Women in Cloud conference right here a year ago in this conference center. And for those of you that were there, the conference was only took place in one room, right? It was a half day on a Friday. We expected 100 people to show up to that conference, and over 400 showed up that day, which was amazing. And it told us right away that this idea was something. This idea needed legs, it needed to happen. And it was at, at exactly the right time that this idea took off. From this, this uh, idea came an accelerator, where we invited 12 women to participate in the Women in Cloud Accelerator that helped them take their ideas from early stage to instrumenting to the cloud, and also generating in the process $30 million in cloud opportunity. And that took place in six months six months of work. That is a great example of what access can do, right? what connection can do when a community comes together and takes action together. And then this continued to evolve. right? The community started to grow. And now, because we know there's such a huge opportunity in cloud, we have an opportunity to continue to foster women to advance their ambitions and make sure that they can achieve them right through the community support. There's so many factions of the community that continue to, to tap into the things that Women in Cloud um, represents. It's a representation of you. It's a representation of the things that it takes to support you on your journey to developing your ideas and developing your business in cloud technology. And what a year it has been. It has only been a year. And the community continues to thrive and grow. We have reached over 250,000 through our extended networks. We have 1,200 engaged members in the Women in Cloud community. We have 250 companies that are also engaged as a part of that network. I mentioned the $30 million of cloud opportunity that were generated just from the accelerators. But what about all the opportunities that are taking place as we're connecting B2B, as you're finding resources through this extensive network? It is amazing. And there's been a lot of industry participation as well through um, uh, industry-wide events that are, take place through Microsoft. 
Um, Gretchen O'Hara, who's the vice president of Microsoft, has a deep passion for connecting women in tech to opportunities around the world. And she's created an opportunity for women in cloud to connect to the United Nations, to take this globally, right, from what this little idea to a global response. You'll hear more about that later in the program. And many other things have taken place as a result in just a year. That's the power of community. That's the power of providing access. And that's where we're trying to invite all of you to continue to foster for the women that need your support. And that brings us to today. 15 months ago, right? 15 months ago, this started with a conversation in a coffee shop. And now we're here today, spending a full day together, investing in ourselves. Right? Now, the demand has been amazing, as you can imagine. And so to facilitate this, we are trying something a little different. This agenda is designed to be dynamic because we know that once we get triggered by an idea, we're ready to go, we're ready to act. And so there are two stages happening right now, two main, st main stages of content and presenters. Right now you're in the, the Hood Baker, there's a whole full room of people in McKinley that are also seeing us and hearing us and we'll be hearing from them on that side as well. So it's a simultaneous presentation happening. A little bit of a hack, um, and that's what community does. And so we're asking for your support as we wanted to make sure we had plenty of access for everyone who wanted to come today. There are a thousand attendees at this conference. Are you kidding me? Wow, right? It's amazing. When we thought 100 people would come to the event the first time, and now there's 1,000, 10x. I mean, what would happen 10x from here, right? Imagine all the ideas and innovations that will come as a result of conversations that are gonna get started here today. 65 speakers are on our program. All of them volunteered to be here for you, right? To connect with you, to demonstrate places of access. Take advantage of that. That's what this community is about. Access, acceleration, and taking action. I also want to just quickly thank the volunteers who are also here to support all of us, making sure that we have a great time. If we could just do a quick round of applause for them. Thank you so much for all of your help. And Wendy mentioned earlier the amazing generosity of this community as well. Because of that, 250 people were able to come to this event when they may not have otherwise been able to do so. Amazing generosity, and we appreciate you for that as well. So we have, we have the Honorable uh, Ty Lee, who's the CEO of SHI International, who will be presenting from the McKinley Room. She is a leading entrepreneur, has a lot of insights on the path of entrepreneurialism that we can all benefit from. We can't wait to hear from her. And then we'll be closing our day with Sage Levine, who is a celebrated author who knows all about how to help business, how to help women make the most out of their businesses. So we hope that you join us for that as well. There are many things to take advantage of besides the programming that's play taking place in this room. Please take the time to enjoy all of the different booths and sponsors and activities. There's much to take advantage of. There's much to support you personally as you're building your business, as you're meeting other business leaders. Um, and one thing I do want to make special note of is supporting our youth entrepreneurs. There is a project here called Create Smiles where you can actually purchase a little gratitude gift that you can give to someone else someone that you want to say thank you for, or maybe just make smile. The, and all of the funding for that goes back to that program to support more youth entrepreneurial programs. And we want you to hashtag this, right? I told you the community is vast and big and only a thousand people could come here. That's all that we could fit. Um, but there are many more that wanted to be here. And through your energy, through the things that you will be communicating through social media, they can enjoy this too. So selfie, video, hashtag, do it all. Um, we definitely want to make sure everyone's celebrating with us. And then there is all of you, right? 
This idea started over a cup of coffee 15 months ago. 15 months ago, right? Imagine what can happen when a 1,000 people are having a 1,000 cups of coffee with ideas that they take with intent, right? That they take with action. There's so much that we can unlock together. We have engaged many parts of the community in tech, but we also found that we also needed to engage beyond our own tech communities. And from an idea that started among a very small group of women committed to making something like this happen, to a proclamation that has happened in the Washington State Senate. That is the journey that we have been on in just these 15 months. And with that, I'd like to take the time to introduce one of our most brightest champions for women in cloud. Senator Patty Cooter is a mom, attorney, and longtime community advocate. In January 2017, Patty was unanimously appointed by the King County Council to fill the vacant Senate seat in the 48th Legislative District. And she now represents her constituents as the first female state senator. Isn't that amazing? In the 48th. <laughs> In addition to her new role as chair of the Senate Housing Stability and Affordability Committee, Senator Cooter serves as a Senate's assistant majority floor leader, as vice chair of the state government tribal relations and elections, you are busy, and as a member of the Law and Justice and Rules Committee. Among Patty's many accomplishments, she successfully passed legislation aimed at streamlining Washington's legal system and making government more efficient. She is a champion for inclusion and gender equality and an ally of the women in cloud community.